Hi everyone, this is QO again. In this video, we're gonna learn about orientation tolerance. So orientation tolerance. Orientation tolerance applies as a related features. And it controls angularity, perpendicularity, parallelism. Let's take a look at the definition. First parallelism. An extent of a feature that is out of parallel the datum. Perpendicularity. An extent of a feature that is out in perpendicular to the datum. The last, the angularity. An extent of a feature that is out of datum which has theoretically accurate angle. So let's have a look at some practices. First, perpendicularity. Okay, perpendicularity controlled by point 2 according to the datum D. Datum D plane is here and we measured cylinder like this. And you can see the axis in the center of the cylinder. And perpendicularity, the surface shall be within the two parallel planes point 2 apart that are perpendicular to datum plane D. And this tolerance zone will be indicated as in, as in millimeters. The principle of perpendicularity is 90 degrees, but tolerance zone and the, the value of perpendicularity will describe in millimeters. And the second, parallelism. So datum D plane is here. And we measure a plane and uh, you can see the tolerance zone the surface shall be within the two parallel planes point two apart that are parallel to datum plane D and of course also indicates the millimeters and you can see angularity there's a basic reference angle degree is here 45 degrees Datum D plane is here and we measure a plane on the tapered plane and the surface shall be within two parallel planes point to a part that are inclined at 45 degrees to datum plane D. So, so orientation tolerance is the concept of the angle 90 degrees and 180 degrees and whatever the specified uh, angle degrees but the value is indicated in millimeters remember that and the actual measurements depends on the slope of the measured feature axis so we recommend so we recommend wide measuring range for the measurement as you can see this uh, as you can see this practice only if if you only measure that much of cylinder the perpendicularity value will be much get would be much more smaller okay thanks for watching uh, that's it for now thanks for watching this video i'll be back in the next video with you guys Thank you.